My name is Dr. Hillel Mazansky, and I specialize in medical hypnosis, guided visualization, nutrition, and exercise. My passion, however, is childhood obesity, and it is this subject that we will be discussing today. The incidence of childhood obesity, unfortunately, is increasing not only in the United States, but also elsewhere in the world. It is epidemic in the United States, but in the whole entire globe, it is pandemic. There is not one country virtually in the Western and the Asian world that hasn't been affected by childhood obesity. For the first time in recorded history, children are taking the same medication as their parents or grandparents for diabetes, heart disease, high cholesterol, depression, stroke, cancer, and the list goes on. A rather frightening finding recently was that children and teens with childhood obesity do not respond adequately to the drugs that are used for adult form uh, diabetes and these children and teens have to be injected with insulin. It is a tragedy as cancer is much higher and the teens and young adults are dying preceding their parents in death. I am committed to do something about this. It is not only myself, but every single person in the United States is compelled to do something to stem the tide of the tsunami that is uh, about to hit us. Thankfully for those in the United States, we have some person who is high up in the government and in the White House and she is able to help us and as we have the same passion we will try and conquer this issue it is an ailment that should be extremely alarming to parents and teachers and all we say that no one in the united states is held harmless from the government uh, officials up in Washington, to the officials at the state level, to the parents, the physicians, the teachers, the food industry, the advertising industry, the media. If I've left anyone out, please uh, send me an email and let me know who I've left out. It is a global problem, but we have to consider what is going on in our country at the present time. Some strides have been made to try and eradicate and decrease the incidence uh, of childhood obesity and there are various committees and uh, governmental agencies but I appeal mainly to you, the parent. If you have an obese child, please help him, her, with a nutritious program as far as eating and exercise is concerned. These children suffer not only physical ailments, but they are shunned and bullied by their peers because um, they are overweight. The child then goes and sits down in the house and watches television and eats the garbage food. Parents, if your child, uh, children are not obese, keep them that way. Please, feed them as you've been feeding them, but not the high fructose white flour food. On my website, www.giinc.com, in the blog section, there's a tremendous amount of information. I ask you to hit on the childhood obesity icon that's on the home page 
please read it. Listen to our websites. Listen to our radio interviews. There is so much information there to help you. Uh, we are trying our very best to do something ourselves. We've met with the La Jolla Town Council. We were then escalated up to the superintendent of schools with his heads of departments. We've been seen by the heads of all the PTA school systems, and we're now going to develop a wellness committee in the San Diego area, and hopefully that will be used as a springboard for us to educate first the parents and then the children. Because it boils down to education, education, education. And why not? This is a most serious, serious matter that needs to be taken care of in an urgent fashion. And we get, begin with the parents. Some I know who belong to the lower socioeconomic groups of our society find that the high fructose, white flour foods, tend to be the cheapest. And they shop in that section of the supermarket that's in the center of the aisles. When I give speeches and talk to groups about childhood obesity, I always mention that they should shop on the periphery of the supermarket where the fresh fruit and vegetables are, where the fresh meat, organic meat and poultry is, the eggs, etc., and not the center of the foods. Please do not give in to your children if they ask you to buy something that was advertised on television. Most parents do not comprehend the fact that those ads that are on the television for the high sugar cereals and the high uh, snacks and the sugar laden soda drinks, that advertising is geared to your children. It is not geared towards you because they see the advert and they ask you mom or dad to buy it and you do it. I ask the dads and the moms on the weekend, please take your children outside. Let them get some sunlight. Worry not about skin cancer. Worry about the fact that they do not get sufficient sunlight and their levels of vitamin D are low. If you would like to know more about the importance of vitamin D on my website, under weekly health tips, there are Plenty, there is plenty information about the benefit of vitamin D. We are able to allow this to run on and on, but it is a health tip that will be pa pasted on my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash guided imagery. And please read this and bring your friends to to my page. Not that I need any more people on my page, but let them bring them that they can listen to what we have said. Childhood obesity, a volcano about to erupt. We must stop that eruption from taking place. My name is Dr. Hillel Mazansky and I thank you for listening to this video.